Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Zach with IT Career Questions. Today marks one week since I went and took my Security Plus and failed miserably, by the way. Actually, I didn't fail too bad, but I still failed. And what I'm here to tell you right now, right this second, is that failure is okay. It's okay. It happens to a lot of people. And the comments, the feedback that I received from the videos that I put out last week are so valuable and I appreciate that so incredibly much. So thank you to my viewers out there who gave me the encouragement and gave me many amazing comments, giving me more encouragement and more positivity. It really does help a ton. But still, at the end of the day, a week later, what's next? I failed Security Plus. Whatever am I going to do? Do I quit? Do I just give up? I answered that in the video that I posted right after I failed the exam. Failure is not an option. It's not. It really isn't. I'm not going to let the fact that I failed stop me in any way because getting Security Plus certified is important to me. It's a goal that I had set for myself and I'm going to crush it. Right now, my agenda does not have any studying for the Security Plus right this second. I have a few things coming up that I really need to get taken care of, but I'm hoping within the next two months I will be prepared, I will have my Security Plus scheduled again, I'll be taking it and crushing the ever-living crap out of it. That's my goal. And if you guys have taken the Security Plus and passed, congratulations to you. If you've taken the Security Plus and, like me, failed, Better luck next time, and I know you can do it. So what do we need to do? How can we pass it the next time? Well, I know some of the areas that I was weak in. I know going into this exam, I wasn't prepared. Now, I may not have been prepared with the questions, what was on the exam, clearly, because I failed, right? Yeah, you would think so. But I did feel somewhat prepared in that sense that I think I was going to get many of the questions right and I thought I was going to do better than I did. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I can't blame anybody. I can't blame the way that I studied. I can't blame the resources that I used. At the end of the day, it all falls back on me. But the biggest issue that I can tell you that I had with going through and taking the Security Plus exam was just the nerves, the test nerves, and those are real guys. Like that is real, that is the real deal. I have not taken a test in like 10 years. And the last test that I did take was written. It wasn't even on a computer. So the whole experience for me was brand new. It was something that I've never done before. And for me, I really wanted to experience it. I just wanted to have the experience of going through, going in and taking a certification exam. That was, that was the biggest value that I got from this entire experience. <clears throat> Whether I failed or passed, just going through and experiencing what it's like to see Pearson view firsthand and how the questions are laid out, what that platform, what the, like, the UI actually looks like. That was important to me. That really helped me understand more of the process. Because you can sit down, you can study for these exams all day. But actually going in and experiencing it, it's on a whole new level. So I know going in for my next exam or more exams down the road that I will be mentally, physically, emotionally prepared for the exam experience. Now, whether I'm prepared enough for the actual material that's on the exam, that's a whole nother story. Now, you guys know that I've used the CertMaster Learn program from CompTIA and I still have nothing but amazing things to say about that platform. I think it really does a fantastic job of teaching you all the objectives that you need to know for the Security Plus exam. I can't say that it didn't deliver for me because I don't think it was CertMaster's fault. They weren't at fault here. It wasn't their problem that I failed it. It was my problem that I failed it. I just was not prepared. All the material that is on the Security Plus exam is covered in CertMaster. So I just did a bad job of studying, right? I did the bad job. I was not prepared. I think it's as simple as that. I can't blame anybody. 
There's people who go through Security Plus courses with Skillsoft, with IT Pro TV, CBT Nuggets, Pluralsight, and they fail from those as well. But they still have people who go through these resources and they pass. So who's at fault? The platform or the user? It's always going to be the user. You can get yourself prepared. So one thing that I absolutely hate doing, I hate reading. I just cannot stand reading. Like, it's just boring to me. I just have like ADD. I'm going a million miles an hour in every single direction. So reading, just not for me. I love videos. I love videos. So I utilize videos. I utilize CertMaster. There's videos in CertMaster. Still came up short. And I got a lot of recommendations after failing. And one of the biggest recommendations was actually for this book right here. This is uh, the Security Plus Get Certified, Get Ahead from Daryl Gibson. Many people recommended this book. So I bought it, knowing that I hate reading. Can't stand it. But I bought it anyway, because so many people had great success with this that I figure I need another resource to use. I need something else that can help me actually pass. So getting this book, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun going through 500 pages of material in a book, but it's gonna, it's gonna be helpful. This is going to help me along my way. I'm gonna utilize this along with the CertMaster program and in a couple months, we'll get Security Plus certified and we'll forget all about the hardships, right? It'll be fine, I hope. The point of this video is that I want you to know whether you pass or you fail, going through that experience is nerve wracking, it's intimidating, some say it's scary, but just experiencing that is a victory in itself. Because now the next time you go in for a different exam or to retake your exams, you're gonna be more prepared. And that's why I'm disappointed that I failed, but I'm happy that I got to experience the failure because now I know what's in store down the road. I know what to look forward to. I know that I will be capable of going through the process with so much more or less anxiety than I did going into it this first time around. So don't stop doing whatever you're doing because I failed. Don't look at my failure as a failure on your end either. Everybody studies differently. Everybody utilizes sources differently. Doesn't mean that you're stupid. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're smart. Everybody grasps material better or in different ways than other people. So if you saw my failure as something that could potentially maybe misguide you in your studies, in your success, don't. Don't do that. I'm completely different than you. I did a bad job. You need to do a better job. And you can do a better job because I'm telling you that you can. I'm telling you not to look at my failure as a failure for you or as something to be scared of. It's nothing to be scared of at all. You're gonna see about one or two more videos where I talk more in detail about the exam process so that I can get you guys prepared for it as well as myself, but really to open your eyes up to just the experience as a whole. So if you're intimidated by going in and taking a certification for any reason, I'm hoping that by these videos that I produce and publish to you guys, that sets your anxiety at maybe a little bit of a lower level. In closing, make sure that you guys check out Dakota's channel, IT Career Skills, so you guys are looking for any other information about getting into IT or experiencing IT from an entry point of view. Dakota is a great resource for that. So I'll put a link in the description, go check that out. If you guys have any other comments, questions, concerns, make sure you guys let me know. I love hearing from you guys. I do this all for you. That's all I got. As always, take it easy. I didn't hit record on the mother-